Hi children, good morning everybody. Let us continue the lesson now again. Okay, in previous session we discussed some uh, activities. What are the natural numbers? What are the whole numbers? And what are the uh, integers? What are the numbers to be used in different situations? Isn't it? Yes or no? We counted some apples and we counted some uh, rupees coins. So in that situations, what are the numbers uh, are used in different situations? All this uh, we learnt in the previous session. Yes or no? Yes. So today let us continue uh, to that concept. We will go to the uh, next. Okay. What is the next one? I am going to explain to you is see all these numbers see here all these numbers what are those numbers the numbers which we used in previous session for sum all these numbers are in the form of p by q is it or not all these numbers are in the form of p by q why that is 3 by 2 1 by 2 23 by 7 7 by 1 like that all the numbers we used in the previous session so all these numbers are in the form of p by q that means numerator and denominator yes or no okay so now the numbers which are in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 are called rational numbers see the numbers which we used in a previous session which we used in different situations like 5.50 7 by 2 3 by 2 those numbers those numbers are in the form of p by q what is in the form of p by q okay in the form of p by q means numerator and denominator q is a denominator p is a numerator so such numbers the numbers which are in the form of p by q where p and q are integers we use p is an integer and q is an integer and q must not equal to 0 this is important if q is equal to 0 what happens denominator becomes 0 when the denominator becomes 0 that number does not exist that is why q must not equal to 0 are called rational numbers so i told you know in previous session we are going to see what are that particular different types of numbers such numbers are called rational numbers and are represented by the capital letter q q the representation of rational numbers is q and these numbers are so called as quotient numbers rational numbers are quotient numbers also we can call it as quotient numbers so children repeat after me what are those numbers are called rational numbers are quotient numbers okay okay now let us see about these numbers representation i will show you a diagram observe carefully this is uh, first one natural numbers okay natural numbers already we uh, discussed starting from 1 to 1 starting from 1 and then 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on isn't it these are natural numbers okay or not now the second one is whole numbers see whole numbers consists zero also and one two three four five six seven and all the all the natural numbers so here see what how i represented this natural numbers are in whole numbers isn't it whole number is zero and also one two three four five six seven that also the whole numbers contains zero and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the natural numbers. Isn't it? Only 0 is extra. The remaining all natural numbers will be there in whole numbers. Okay? 
next integers see here integers contains natural numbers and whole numbers yes or no integers contains natural numbers and whole numbers and also negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on all these numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on infinite minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on infinite isn't it integers contains natural numbers and also whole numbers okay the next one is rational numbers once again i'll show you first natural numbers and then whole numbers with natural numbers okay and then integers which consist whole numbers and natural numbers and then rational numbers in this rational numbers integers are there whole numbers are there natural numbers also are there so all these natural numbers whole numbers integers consists in rational numbers and also extra which we used in different situations 3 by 2 minus 7 by 8 minus 19 by 21 87 by 103 like this many are there infinite numbers are there 2019 by 2020 5.05 all these fractional numbers are also there in rational numbers in addition to integers whole numbers natural numbers so what we can observe rational numbers consists integers whole numbers natural numbers so if i ask you one question five five is which number we can say natural number that is five we can say whole number also why because in whole numbers zero plus one two three four five are there we can say integer also why because integers having whole numbers and natural numbers so we can say integers means five also an integer like that rational number so rational numbers are having integers whole numbers natural numbers all the numbers are there in rational numbers also so five is a rational number so we can say five is a natural number whole number integer and also rational numbers now if i ask minus 5 minus 5 is integer but not whole number or natural number integer and also rational number okay that is by because integers rational numbers consists integers okay children do you observe this diagram so this is a rational number in this rational numbers integers are there whole numbers are there natural numbers are there so in other words we can call all the integers are rational numbers and all the whole numbers are rational numbers and all the natural numbers are rational numbers yes or no do you observe very nice no this diagram that's good if you listen if you learn like this it will be very interesting okay children now let us go to the homework i'm giving you a homework see write the following numbers under the appropriate category i am I, i'll give some numbers here you have to categorize those numbers what is the categorization what are natural numbers what are whole numbers what are integers like that you have to categorize see some numbers are given minus 1 4 by 5 minus 3 by 57 2.05 minus 7 28 by 12 2019 by 20 27 0 all these numbers i i gave all these numbers you have to categorize what are those categories first one natural numbers from all these numbers pick all the natural numbers and write down here only natural numbers not other numbers pick all the natural numbers from here just for a, uh, for understanding i'll tell you one 
is a natural number right here. 4 by 5, it is not a natural number. Don't see separately 4 and 5. It is 4 by 5. It is not a natural number. Okay, this is not natural number. This is not, this is not, this is not, this is not, this is not. 27, yes. 27 is a natural number. You can write in this column. 0, no. 0 is not natural number. So, in this category, 1 and 27 only comes here. These are natural numbers category. Did you understand children? Okay. Like that, second category, whole numbers. Write all the whole numbers here. Third category, integers. Pick up all the integers from here and write down here. Okay. Pick all the integers. See, 1, you can write. 1 is an integer. Minus 7, yes, you can write. 27, you can write. 0, you can write. Like that. Minus 3, you can write in integers. All these are integers. Okay. Write the rational numbers. Category. So, like that. How many categories are there? Natural number category. Whole numbers category. All the whole numbers. All the integers. And all the rational numbers. You have to categorize from these numbers and write those appropriate categories. Okay, children? Have you understood the session? That's good. Now, we can continue in the next sessions. We'll continue the rational numbers. So far, what we have discussed, you have to um, do your homework also. If you don't, if you cannot, then ask your maths teacher and get the result. Thank you so much children. Thank you so much. Keep watching always. This is Srinivas from Jet Pictures Double Keep watching. Bye bye. Thank you.